see here one example related to the vertical motion under gravity a ball is thrown vertically up with a velocity of 10 meter per second after how much time will it reach half its total height of flight on its downward journey take g is equal to 10 meter per second square so now you can start here first we take suppose body is at this point ground and it is thrown vertically upward like this body is going somewhere like this and then coming down so this is the path this we can take at point origin where the mo where uh, the motion starts and this point this is the total height which the body travels now this i have taken origin upward motion we will take as positive and downward motion and above that means above the o will take positive and down will take negative so now in this case first we start this question is here body is thrown up with the velocity we can write u is equal to 10 meter per second it is going up so we have taken positive we will write equation v is equal to u plus a t now we will replace all that thing at the highest point final velocity will be 0 initial velocity is 10 i am taking plus because it is up plus a acceleration is downward that is always that is minus g we write minus 10 into t so here we will take here t is equal to one second you will be get getting it means the total time of flight is one second now we can also calculate total height we can go directly for the displacement velocity relation that is v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s and you will be getting here 0 is equal to 10 square plus 2 into minus 10 into h and you will be getting here minus 100 is equal to minus 20 into h so h is equal to 5 meter it means the body is traveling total height of 5 meters so h is equal to 5 meter now what we have to calculate after how much time will the body reach half its total height suppose i take somewhere here this is h by 2 and this is also h by 2 so how much time will take it we have taken origin here so the displacement is only h by 2 so we can write here h by 2 is equal to what was the initial velocity we can take here 10 so we can take here 10 into t plus half into minus 10 into t square and we can solve it so we will be getting h by 2 is equal to 10 t minus 5 t square and here that is minus uh, that means 5 t square minus 10 t plus 2.5 is equal to 0 and now we can solve it further here we can take make this equation and we just remove the decimal you will be getting here twice of t is square and then minus 4 t plus 1 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation you have to solve you have to get 2 times t is equal to you know it minus minus 4 plus minus under root of b square minus 4 ac so that is minus 4 square minus 4 into 2 into 1 divided by twice of this is 2a that is 2a into 2 when you solve it you will be getting two values one is 0 0.29 second and another one is 1.71 second 